Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Puppy Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, the character looking into is Granny Longlegs. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall lore and universe of Puppy Playtime. This is just a fun, creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of Granny Longlegs. So in our previous videos, we've taken a look at Mummy Longlegs and Daddy Longlegs. Our protagonist has outsmarted and escaped both of these creepy, stretchy creatures. But now as they explore further into the factory, little do they know, they're just about to meet another member of the Longlegs family. But before we meet this twisted character, let's first take a look at the new area our protagonist has found themselves in. So as they explore deeper, they come across the soda brewing facility. Playtime Co. didn't just produce toys. They also produced a number of sodas as well. These flavours included... Huggy Wuggy Blueberry Kissy Missy Watermelon Cat B Lemon Zest, Boogie Bot Orange, and many more. This line of Playtime Co. sodas proved to be quite successful. We've explored in the past, the factory has manufactured their fair amount of candy and treats. So Playtime Co. making their own line of sodas wasn't too far-fetched for them. As the player explores this new area, they come across a number of large vats. This must be where all the soda is stored. They soon realise that in order to make their way through this area, they need to interact with these vats. On each vat was a valve that could be turned. This would cause all the soda to empty out and open the door to the next processing room. When it came to the other vats, they needed to be carbonated to open the doors. The player would need to search around for CO2 tanks and load them into the pressure outlet on the large vat. This would pressurise the soda, and the bubbles would finally lift the door to enter the next room. The player would now find themselves in the flavouring and syrups area. They would come across a puzzle in which they would need to mix specific flavours and boil them with the flame grab. There would be multiple flavours to mix, and multiple different combinations they could make. The way in which the player would figure out the right mixture, they would need to locate a secret ultraviolet light switch on the wall. This would reveal the flavours that the player needed to mix. But finding the light switch wasn't crucial. The player can still figure it out by trial and error. Once they've got the correct concentrated flavours, they need to load it into the vat and also the correct amount of CO2 tanks as well. Once the vat was ready and activated, the door would open. They come to a large room filled with large clear tubes filled with fizzing water. As they look around, they come across something very strange. In one of these clear tubular tanks was a giant set of teeth. What on earth were they doing there? And more importantly, who did they belong to? As they approach the large set of teeth, then suddenly, a large hand reaches into the tank and pulls them out. They then cram them into their disturbing looking mouth. As the player steps back and gets a better look at this creature, it's revealed to be none other than Granny Longlegs. Their body was quite similar to both Mummy and Daddy Longlegs. But their face and teeth were much more frightening. Her face was old and wrinkled, and her hair frizzled and grey. Her eyes were dark and hollow. It seemed like she couldn't see very well. The player stands perfectly still as Granny climbs the ceiling above the clear tanks of carbonated water. It turns out our protagonist was correct, and she has a very hard time seeing. But when it comes to sounds, that's when they need to be careful. 
As the player quietly walks through this area, they make sure not to run and bump into any of the tanks. They have no idea what Granny Longlegs was capable of, and they didn't want to stick around to find out. As the player walks behind one of the glass tanks, the water and the glass make them appear much larger like a magnifying glass. This catches Granny Longlegs' attention as she grabs them and pulls them close. The player and Granny are now face to face. Just before she takes a bite out of the player, they use their grab pack hand. The hand latches onto her teeth and the player pulls out her dentures. Granny lets go of the player as she searches for her teeth. That's it. Now the player knows what they need to do when they get grabbed, but they need to be careful. Because every time Granny grabs the player, she gets faster and faster. So the player needs to be careful not to walk behind the tanks or make too much noise. They need to reach the end of the room so they can make it through the next door. The door was shut by another one of the vats of soda. The player needs to gather the CO2 tanks and load them into the vat. But they need to be careful not to drop any of them or make a sound. As they search for the canisters, they can see Granny climbing around. Whenever she went behind the clear tanks, her creepy face would be enlarged. After the player has gathered the correct amount of CO2, then they head back to the vat. Every time they load a canister in, the CO2 hisses. Each time they insert one, they need to quickly hide. As soon as Granny hears the hiss, she immediately searches the area. For such an old creature, they sure did have a good sense of hearing. After the player is done loading the CO2 into the door, it finally opens. They rush through as fast as they can before Granny finds out. As they exit through this new area, they walk down a large corridor. They make their way down when all of a sudden Granny breaks through one of the walls. The player quickly makes a break for it before she can grab them. At the end of the corridor, they see the exit. Multiple hands start breaking through, trying to grab them. Just before they can reach the exit, the player is grabbed from above by Granny. The player quickly uses their grab hand and pulls out her dentures. With one final effort, the player throws them back in Granny Longleg's face. Multiple teeth fly everywhere as they hit her withered face. She lets go of the player and they quickly run through the exit. Finally, they made it. They were safe from this creepy old creature. And without her disturbing teeth, she was sure not to hurt anyone anymore. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Granny Longlegs and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.